Good morning, guys. We get to start today's vlog off with a little bit of uh, embarrassing news, I guess. Um, yesterday, I ran out of deodorant, and I forgot to go and get some. So today, I will be wearing my wife's deodorant, Tom's, long-lasting, um, smells like fresh apricot. So now I get to walk around all day, self-aware that I am wearing women's deodorant. Bear with me, guys. I still need to find a shirt, but... JT, I see a smile on you. Look how precious she is. Oh. I said good morning. What are you doing with those cute little dips? Are you trying to kiss? Are you trying to kiss? Today I have to go to my real job, but um, after that, we are gonna go and try and take some family pictures. It's probably gonna be freezing outside, so we're gonna have to find something inside to do. We'll find something fun to do, I'm sure. So again, I forgot to put the coffee in the coffee mountain. Coffee maker, yeah, yeah, for her got to do it. So we got to do it this morning. I wanna try my best not to make every video too similar. I just don't want it to be too repetitive. I don't want it to get boring for you guys to watch. So. Pour in the coffee. Pour in the coffee. I don't even know if I need coffee, guys. I'm already like super energetic right now as it is. Um, I'm just excited. It's a new day. God woke me up this morning. I'm alive. Still got my eyesight and still got my legs. I'm walking around. My arms are moving around. My mouth is working. I think my mouth probably would be the first thing to go. It's pretty dangerous. The tongue is pretty dangerous, guys. Deep deep boop bop. All right, if you guys want to know what I wrote in my journal this morning, I wrote... Vlogging is a lot of fun, but it also is a lot of work, and it takes up so much time. I need to be careful not to let it steal my joy from other areas. It is a lot of fun, it brings me joy, but I can't get addicted to it or do too much of it because it'll start stealing joy from me spending time with my family, that kind of stuff. I realized yesterday that although I can't control how people feel, so like I used to say when me and my wife argue, she would say she was feeling a type of way, and I would say, well, babe, I can't control that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I realized that I can influence how she feels, so if I'm just not being loving when she's trying to tell me how she feels, like I was, then yeah, she's gonna get upset. So I can influence how she feels and, and be more patient with her. But yeah, guys, God spoke that into my heart. That was not my own understanding, so. And also, I'm so grateful I have God in my life. I hope my relationship with Him keeps growing strong. I hope I can lead others to Christ and His amazing forgiveness. That is what I have right in there. I'm gonna write here. And for your FYI, I haven't even touched my coffee yet. Not even a sip. Look at that. Look at it. It's still full. Look at that, guys. Not even a sip right there. JT, hey, 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 how you feeling? Good. Cool. I was up here for five seconds in this little turd nugget already stole my chair. He's like the king of stealing chairs, guys. Like, seriously, I turn my back for one second and he's already up in my chair. Like, how are you so good at that? I taught you how to steal chairs, little pooper. Huh? I don't know. Maybe Papa do. Papa taught you how to steal chairs? Yeah. I'm coming after you, Papa. Me, Jim, and all right, guys, I'm officially ready for work. If you thought I was just going to wear a t-shirt today, you're freaking crazier than I am. And that's freaking bonkers. Guys, God has blessed me with a great woman. Look at this delicious. Nope. But that looks good. That's probably JT's. Oh, look, my sandwich. Is that all you want? Sure. That should be good. You already know what time it is. Look who's watching with me. Hi, buddy. Hi. Love you. They're cold. Yeah. Love you, babe. Bye. Bye, baby. Okay. We're out of here, boys and girls. Oh my.
my gosh, you guys. I started driving, and as I was driving, these were rolling around. And listen to this. It sounds like glass. And I thought, like, something glass was in my car, and I thought it, like, broke. It scared me. Listen. It scared the crap out of me, guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm here, so. You ready for a bath? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want PJ mask in there? Okay, put it in there. What you wanna wear? I picked you out a little outfit. Okay, lay down then. Do you wanna take a nap? You wanna take a nap on the floor? Yeah. All right, I'll turn on your sound machine. <laughs> Wait, you said you were going to take it out. Yeah, All right, nap. good night. Yeah, I'm taking that. Oh, wow, that was the fastest nap ever. I know. He's so pretty. <laughs> you're wearing a cute little outfit, huh? From Aunt Rachel. And from Gigi. Yeah. We're so pretty. I'm gonna be doing a workout routine. This is a little video I'm gonna be trying. If you hadn't figured it out already, I edit our vlogs, so I get to come back through and do a voiceover of my wife working out. But I am so proud of her. Look at her go. Uh, you go, girl. That was like my first time working out in like forever besides like glute workouts and let me tell you that was oh my gosh so freaking hard the yoga i'm gonna try it's 10 minutes full body stretch I'm going to clean this big old mess. Uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, maybe we'll clean some chairs. Let's turn on these lights and get going, huh? Gotta go open this door, ladies and gents. Get the door unlocked. Yee -yee. Oh, man. I got to go get some stuff from the showroom. Some chairs came back from a customer return. Watch me go get that right now. Got to open this door. Yee -yee. Oh, well, I'm gonna get this dolly actually, because that other dolly is hard to get through the doors. Uh, we got these black Sams. Uh, gotta take them down. Uh, that's done. Now I gotta go back up and get the tan Sams that are up there. I have to take those to the garage. And it's gonna be a good one. Alright, we got the tan Sams. Gotta open up the garage. Doke. All right. Oh, it's frozen. Uh. Alright, set those in here. Just got Today I'm just putting all this stuff back, getting the basement back in order because I had someone come in and paint and do electrical work. Now I'm just putting these can lights away. These can lights can be programmed to shine multiple lights on the walls. You know, it looks like a nice like wall of light. It's just like a decoration. Now I gotta put these away. Putting them away, putting them away. I'm putting them away, guys. Watch me put them away. I'm going so fast, putting them away. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right, so now I'm putting these away. I got to dust them first before I put them back because there's no sense in putting them back dusty. That'd be kind of dumb. Got to sweep this up too. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm going faster than a Jimmy John sandwich being delivered in a NASCAR. Would you look at it? No, but seriously, this is like all I've been doing. We've been so slow. Ah, time to put the black sands away. Yeah, these ones are the ones that 10 of them probably weigh close to 50 pounds. I just had to throw them up there on top of that stack. You know your boy is stacked. Yeet, yeet. Yep. And that's only like five of them, so. Ten pounds. You know what? No, that's a lie. There's probably, they're probably like 20 pounds. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking sandpaper and lightly sanding our frame tent components. I'm doing that so that they'll slide into the poles better for when we put them together. And also, also it gets the dirt and the rust off of them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also have to do, these are the side tees and top tees. Now I'm going to get all, all the corners and the half crowns and I got to do all the feet. The feet are going to take me forever so I'm going to skip around here. All right, there's my last one, and then we'll work on the half crowns, and then we'll get the corners done. This is what took me forever today. All right, so that's the half crowns and the feet. Put those in, and then we put the corners on top of that, and then we put the side tees and the top tees down. Because we lay out the frame tent, we take everything out and we lay it around where it goes. And the side tees and the top tees are always first. So yeah. I already got those two done. Working on the last one here, guys. Whew. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm getting 15 white padded chairs ready for a customer pickup. So that means someone's coming to the showroom to grab the chairs. It's not a delivery. So I just gotta check all these white padded to make sure there's no scratches, dents, or any kind of dirt on them and make sure there's no holes in the cushions. See? All right guys, thanks for sitting through and watching me work. I know that is super boring, but I'm gonna lock this freaking door and we are gonna get out of here. Yeah, let's get it. Hey guys, so I got the call on my way home that I got the job at Dish. I start March 11th, so this coming up Monday, I am going to Chicago to do one week of training and then I'll come back, do a couple weeks of training and then go back out to Chicago to finish training, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanted this job so bad, you guys. This is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a great opportunity. I'm going to work my butt off to level up as fast as I can. Woo! Can you want to go to Walmart? Yeah. Are we all going to go? Yeah. Are we all going to go? Guys, remember when I got this like two days ago? Well, look at it, it's a piece of poop. My wife's phone was on, and this nut goes in there, and then this piece of plastic, I wonder if it was just glued or what, but yeah, that piece of plastic belongs there. We've only had this thing for a couple of days, guys. We just got this stupid tripod. We're gonna get some glue, we'll fix it up for sure. Um, Maybe it's just manufacturer defect. Maybe they're not all made like that. But if I had to do a review on that thing, I would say no go. <laughs> You're smiling at me. Hi, Daddy. I need to show you. Oh, that's wet right there because you peed. It's wet. No, it's not. It's just I wiped it. Wait, 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 wait. Could you pee, 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 p
way to Walmart. <laughs> We're just leaving. It's almost dark already. Yeah, it's 6.30. It gets dark fast for some reason. We can't get that quick. We can't. Hey, wake up. We made it to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of deodorant do you want? I think we're gonna go with the um, wild rain today, ladies and gentlemen. We usually get to the performance, wherever it is. Just got upset because we stopped moving, huh? I know. I can't stop moving, so start crying. Cooper? Cooper? Oh, yeah. We need soak proof. Paper plates. Alright. And we need some trash bags. Trash bags. Yep. Here's cup. Okay, that's it. That's it? Paper plates, trash bags, and deodorant? Should we get some snacks, guys? Mmm, thinking we are. We're gonna get some snacks. Uh, Goofles or whatever they're called? Goofles? Wait. Wait, they're right there. Scrunchies? What do you call those? Scrunchies. Scrunchies? No, that's, that's hair ties. <laughs> oh. What do you call these food right things? Yeah. What are these? These are two bucks. This what, is guys, what, what do you guys call I'll take these? A pink one. Comment down below what you guys call these. Do you want it? Do you want my those, Tilo? Making these. Those look yummy. Getting some cookies now. We needed? Yeah. What did we get? Cookies. We got cookies. Yep. Okay. We got cookies. We got chips. Okay. And then we got all the other stuff. Yeah. Oh, and we got some cereal. Are you excited? We got me red juice. Um, we got apple juice. Get the Sunny D. That is so good. This sunny D. It says it's 100% vitamin D. That's the good stuff right there. Fake stuff right there. What do you guys think? Comment down below. You think this is fake? Yes. She does. Okay guys, we're leaving. It's dark out now. Um, it's seven o'clock. Okay guys, we made it home. Cheyenne is gonna cook the pizza. Is that right? Yeah. And I am gonna go to Home Depot real quick and get a bolt to fix my chair because the back broke off. I need a bolt to get. So I am gonna run and do that. I'll take you guys with me. And Cheyenne, are you gonna film cooking pizza? Yes. Cheyenne's gonna vlog while she cooks the pizza and takes care and takes care of the baby. She's got quite a busy job. As we made it to El Home Depot, gonna get in there and get this bolt hole. Gonna get her done, get her done, get her done, son. Okay guys, so my wife's gonna go ahead and put the groceries away and then put the pizza in the oven. She couldn't vlog all that much while I was gone, but this is what she got, so I hope you enjoy watching it. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot to vlog while I was in there. Um, but we just got these. Guys, how blind am I, I think? So as I was checking out this guy, I looked over and I saw this guy come in with his wife and two kids. They were older, probably 12 and 14, I wanna say, boy and girl. And the wife was wiping her eye, but I just assumed she had snow in her eye because it was snowing, you know? But when I looked over and saw them, he, that guy said, don't even give me that look. Me and the employee that was checking me out of Home Depot were both looking at them. And the employee that was checking me out of Home Depot said, I wasn't giving you a look, like kind of smiling. So I thought like they were family, like they knew each other. But then after they walked by, she was like, I didn't think I was giving them a look. And then I was like, I thought you knew them. And she was like, no. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think the mom, the wife, 
or girlfriend was crying and I think the male was the reason for it or maybe she was just overreacting I don't know guys and he was pissed off I don't know but I mean I didn't even see it I didn't even see it to ask if she was okay or if he was okay I just I'm going on living my normal life and I'm not paying attention to other people and ah, it makes me sick guys I make myself sick sometimes I don't know guys it's so hard it's not really my place it's none of my business but I'd still like to help but I'd like to help both of them I'd like to help the husband and the wife and I don't know how to do that without hurting one of them because if I ask her if she's okay then he's gonna get offended like it was his fault and if I ask him if he's okay then she's gonna be hurt because she's gonna be like I'm the one crying I'm the one in pain why are you talking to him I just wish I was more wise. I wish I knew how to handle those situations better, but I know someone who does. Jesus. I prayed about it, actually, and I know that he's going to take care of it. So I want you guys to know, too, like, I wasn't coming from a place of judgment. I was coming from a place of understanding because I've been there, and I've done that. I've been him, and I've seen her. Like, I've done that. I've seen my wife cry because of things that I've said. Um, it's been a long, long time, like since before we were married when we were still just dating. But yeah, I've, I've been there and that's why it's not judgment. It's about understanding because I've been in their shoes. I know exactly what that feels like for both of them. He wants to stop, but he doesn't know how. And she wants to get out, but she doesn't think she can leave him. I'm going to pause the video real quick um, and just go over this real quick. Um, the answer to that change that I was just talking about is Jesus, guys. If it wasn't for Jesus coming into my life, then I would have never changed. Um, I was a hardcore drug addict, guys. And then three years later, I relapsed and I was an alcoholic. Um, in both times, it was Jesus and uh, people that God sent that helped me get over those addictions, guys. It was not me. If it were for me and in, in my ways and for my ambitions, I would be dead in a ditch. Um, I would have died of alcohol poisoning or I would have died of drug overdose. So um, Jesus is everything to me, guys. If, if it weren't for Jesus, I would be nothing. I would be dirt in the ground. It can get better. It can get better, but it takes work. It takes work from both of them. Um, women can learn how not to push their men to lashing out and men you can learn to be patient with your wives and and be more understanding and compassionate towards them and just do something for them that's like out of the ordinary and here I am saying this guys I never do that I never do that I can't even remember the last time I did something nice for my wife just because to do something nice so here I am going on when I need to look in the freaking mirror and uh, I just pissed myself off. I'm sorry, guys. And I made it home, guys. And it smells like pizza. Yeah, it smells yeah. like pizza. Yummy, yeah, Mindy Pizza. What? <gasps> Yummy, guys. Um, I had a chance to cool off on that drive. I feel much better now. Oh, all right. I finally fixed this chair the right way. I got a screw in there. Um, I've been just throwing like drywall screws in there to try to hold it and they just keep breaking as you know Drywall screws are thin and they snap easily. So finally got it fixed right guys <laughs> So we'll have my recliner again. I'm excited now I'm gonna eat some of this delicious pizza guys I'll probably eat those three pieces and those three pieces. I am so hungry and we have cookies guys I'm gonna get me some milk and cookies. Woo! I'm pumped by Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I had to pause it again. Oh, it sounded like he said something completely else other than cookies, guys. If you didn't hear it, that's great. I'm glad it went over your head. But I definitely heard it trying to edit this video. Wow, that was so funny. Yeah, I'm gonna put milk in my cookies. I'm gonna put cookies in my milk. Mmm, yummy milk. Mm hmm Oh, guys, that was so good. I'm so full. Done eating. What are you watching? The Peoples. The Peoples? Yeah. You know what it's called? What? It's Windows. called the, yeah, the Wiggles. Windows. Yeah. <sighs> well, you guys, we yeah. are going to call it a day. We did a little bit of rearranging here. It's not really working out, though, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. 
It's already nine o'clock, guys. I had no idea how late it was. Yeah, it's late, so I gotta start editing. And it's, I'm probably not gonna get done till like one o'clock because it's already nine. That's nuts. Um, so yeah, we love you guys. Make sure you subscribe and like the videos. Make sure you comment with some suggestions. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. We appreciate it. I still see the subscriber number growing. It's amazing. We love you guys. All right, JT, let's say goodnight. Goodnight.